welcome back. Just repairing the window. Candles are still burning. I'm gonna read a book called Walking the World, Volume 11. But it's the only book. Walking the World, Volume 11, Solitude, by Spatir Munius. Welcome, friend. In our latest volume, we cover solitude. Spatir could not be more pleased to be at the very seat of imperial power in Skyrim. In the course of our tour, you'll see that Solitude's riches extend from her people to the history and architecture that make up the city itself. As ever, we begin our journey outside the city walls, this time at the bottom of the hill that ascends all the way to Solitude's massive gates, Solitude's surroundings. Before scaling the hill to the city, you should be sure to take in the sights. Wander the track that leads down to the docks, and you can stop to enjoy one of the best views of the Great Arch. Originally serving as both a landmark and windbreak for Solitude's port, the easily defended Great Arch also provided an ideal building site for the ancient Nords. The city gradually grew to extend across the entire length of the arch. This growth culminated in the building of the Blue Palace, home of the High Kings and Queens of Skyrim. We will visit the place later, the palace later. The Gates of Solitude. Entrance to Solitude is guarded by two gates and three towers. The first of these towers, situated at the crossroads, is Sky Tower. It's mostly a lookout, although in times of war, barricades are erected across the nearby road to act as the first line of defense. The second tower and first smaller gate are collectively known as the Squall Gate. Here, attacking armies meet their first real resistance. Last and certainly most impressive is the Storm Gate. While Castle Dur, found just within the city's main gate, has always been a massive walled structure. Solitude's outer walls and gates were not added until shortly after the coronation of High King Erling. Looking up and to the left of the main gate, you can see a small hint of Erling's preference for a more rounded style of architecture that we will see later in the castle door extension, as well as the interior arch and the windmill. Now we pass through the gates and enter the main shopping district of Solitude, the Well District. Stepping inside Solitude's gates, you get your first view of the city itself. Rising tall and proud before you, banners waving from its crown, is Emperor's Tower, home to the kings of Halfinger, before the consolidation, consolidation of Skyrim and the creation of the Blue Palace. The Emperor's Tower is now used exclusively as guest quarters for emperors who come to visit the city. To your left and right are Solitude's Inn and Shops. Here can be found some of the finest imported goods in Skyrim. After all, Solitude is a wealthy city with ready access to major shipping lanes of Tamriel. Continuing ahead, you'll come to the ramp that takes you up to Castle Door. From here, you can truly feel the weight of the stone's bastion's looming presence. The leftmost tower, topped by the pointed roof of Erling's extension, was once the castle barracks and jail. Today, the tower is the center of military power here in Solitude. Looking right past the looming Emperor's Tower, you can glimpse Solitude's natural bridge, Ar Arsing, gracefully over to the windmill. Built during High King's Erling's day, the bridge was said to be used, used to discreetly allow Captain Yit, the famous privateer, to enter Castle Dur. Some historians claim that she and the High King were simply attempting to keep their business dealings quiet. Others believe the Yit and Erling were involved on a more personal level. At the end of the bridge is the windmill. The tower and the windmill serve as one of the Solitude's most recognizable man-made landmarks. The windmill's power was once used to open the gates to what is now the East Empire Company warehouse. But today, that task falls to the strong backs of the dock workers. 
In the shadow of the windmill, you'll find the outdoor market in the well. Here you can buy a number of local del del delicacies, including the famous spice wine made exclusively in solitude. From here, we'll travel up the ramp and into the Castle Durer courtyard. Castle Durer. As you enter the courtyard of Castle Durer, you are confronted with the banner of solitudes hanging over the door to what is now Castle Durer proper. At the far end of the courtyard stands the impressive Temple of the Divines. The founders of Solitude were deeply devout, and Solitude is the only place in Skyrim where all the Divines are worshipped in a single temple. All three of the buildings here are well worth taking a look inside, but only the Temple and Castle Durer's military wing are open. If you do venture inside the temple, take special note of the alcoves at the front. You can see the empty alcove at you can see the empty alcove that once held the shrine of Talos before Talos worship was outlawed. From the courtyard, travel out the exit between Castle Durer and the temple, and you'll get your first sight of the Blue Palace. Along the way, be sure to stop outside the Bard's College, a large building on your left, marked by the flame of castles burning beside the steps. Named for a famous bard, it is said that as long as the flame burns, the college will stand. The Bard's College. Looking up from the Bard's College steps, you can see that the college stands taller than the Blue Palace itself. The bards who train here can be heard throughout Skyrim, singing songs that capture the history of the ages. If you get a chance, you should be sure to catch the burning of King Olaf. An ancient festival where King Olaf is burned in effigy. Continue up the road from the college and you'll reach the courtyard of the Blue Palace, our final destination. The Blue Palace. Blue Palace is home to the Jarl of Solitude, who for centuries have also served as the High Kings and High Queens of Skyrim. The northeast wing on your left as you enter holds the living quarters of the Jarl and her court on the top level, and various servants below. The southwest wing, known as the Plagueis Wing, has fallen into a state of disrepair. Named for the famous High King, Pelagius the Mad, the wing is rumored to be haunted by the king's ghost. The wing has been locked and left alone since shortly after Pelagius' death. You should be sure to venture inside the Blue Palace. The Grand Artium and Court Chambers are a sight not to be missed. Other points of interest. Spatia has shown you solitude in all its grandeur, but there are a few pal places more to see. The walls of the city are easily accessible and well worth climbing for the remarkable view. Solitude dock docks are also worth a visit, as they are the largest in Skyrim. That's all for Walking the World, Volume 11, or 1. Spatior does not know his next destination yet, but you can, you can be sure that where he does go, he will leave you a record of the best things to see. Spatier Munius, World Traveler. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to go to Solitude sometime, make my way up there. And now I'm on my way to get the last fragment. Damn shame. Yeah, it is a damn shame. What happened? Who did this? I own the Pelagia farm just outside the city walls. Nimriel takes good care of things for me. Who did this? Vampires. What are you doing that for? Because she's a vampire.
You're someone who can get things done. I like that. I ain't asking Yeah, exactly. What happened? My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some beef. Spare coin for a full finger. Thank you. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Cool. What do I need for it? Okay, I need a steel ingot. I don't claim to be... Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. No. Okay. Alright then. No, I'm gonna have to use that. Thank you. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. I can still do it. Oh, no way. Alright. Doesn't matter. Hey. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still on this forbidden legend here. Going to find the last Galder amulet in Sarthal. And I'll be going out here and around, up to here, these farms, through these mountains. Oh, it's gonna be cold. Oh, I have to go through here. And go. Up. going on? Dragons breathing fire in the sky. Vampires brazenly attacking people on the street. It's the end of the world, I tell you. <laughs> what do you think's going on? Hey, you mix potions, right? Can you brew me an ale? I think so. Potion. An ale. I'll try. And it's raining. Whoa. Poor uh, this guy is not with us no more. Dragon must have gone. Stupid dog, she said. Oh, I know. Are you going to heal him? Got the fleetest steeds in all the Skyrim. Yeah, I know. Ride strong. Is he all right? Make it quick. What are you doing? You want something from me? What's going on? All right, then. 